I've got a many problems with this game. Captain Skyhawk. His eyes are closed or something and he's like, smile for the camera. <laughs> Where's the bathroom? Uh, who? Dragon Warrior and Astaniax both have a guy on the front with a sword killing a dragon. Dragon Warrior was really cool, so I thought, you know, Astaniax ought to be a really cool game. Fred looks like he wants to do me. <laughs> It's about this kid. His name is Astaniax. He says it's Greek or something. He looks into the sun. He has a damn seizure. All of a sudden, he wakes up in some crazy fantasy world where some fairy named Cutie is asking for his help. She wants him to save their princess from some guy named Blackthorn. You got three different kinds of magic. You got one that just explodes around the screen, kills enemies. You can pause the game, switch to a lightning magic, and then you have a freeze time magic, which is actually pretty cool. You've got a power meter. Uh, did you catch that? It's important. The scene going on me attacking and doing things and being silly as a standing ex of killing monsters. Ah. Every time you attack, the power meter diminishes. Depending on where the power meter is filled up at, that's how much damage you do. But in this game, it feels like no matter how full your power meter is, you're only doing just wee damage to a monster, so it doesn't really matter anyway. You just press the fucking button and just attack a monster a whole bunch and you just fucking try and kill the some bitch and you're just gonna end up using magic or, or something to kill the monster anyway, so what the hell does it matter? At any moment on the screen, you have some kind of weird little flying fuzzy fuck nugget coming after you. Every time you kill one, another one pops up in its place. What am I supposed to do? And the other thing I noticed, why the hell is a 16 year old kid look like some kind of crazy beefed out Hulkamania expert? He's a 16 year old high school kid. You got guys who will just pop out of the ground and attack you. You've got these little tiny flying fuck nuggets, but then you have even bigger guys. They'll drop projectiles on you, so you have to kill them. But once you kill one, another one's right behind them. Then you have these annoying ass bastards who show up right before any kind of pit or something usually. They're spitting some kind of projectile and they knock your ass right in. You can't do anything about it. The more guys you kill, the more guys show up on the screen. And then you just get knocked in the hole and you die. I need infinite health or something. You have summoned me, Game Genie. You want the answer? It's in my pants. All right. Sweet. Yeah! You pretty much just save the princess and then you go back to your own time. And then the fairy that was helping you out throughout the whole game, she pretty much just comes back as a normal human and then I guess they get together, they don't really imply, so it's a pretty good game. It's kind of just another generic Nintendo platformer. It's kind of fun. It had a storyline and cutscenes, and for the day, that was kind of rare. Ninja Gaiden kind of did the same thing, which, you know, was pretty innovative at the time, but the game is hard as hell, and it's kind of a pain in the ass to play, but... Whatever. Shit, son, the last time you wanted me, you were playing 101 Dalmatians, you know? You couldn't even vote in that game. Oh, Corella Deville, she's so scary. Corella Deville's gonna get you, huh? Game Genie in your face. In your face. I tell you what, this one guy called me Game Winnie. You know what happened to him? He died. Sometimes people gonna tell you stop, but you just gotta hop.